Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can quickly add links to all the Microsoft 365 group assets uh, on a team site. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a Microsoft team right here. Um, all right, a few channels, uh, but that's not the, uh, the point. Uh, and let me uh, open a site that uh, also got provisioned when I created a team, because if you recall, every time you create a new team in Microsoft Teams, uh, it creates a bunch of things for us, right? It creates a calendar in um, Outlook, uh, it creates a SharePoint site, uh, it creates a workspace for us in a Planner, a few other things. Um, so let me uh, open a site that is, got created as, when I created this team. So to access that, I'm just going to use the advantage of this open and SharePoint button. Here we go. So here is a site that got created uh, when I created this team. Now, uh, on that site, I might have some, you know, stuff, some, you know, web parts and widgets and everything I want to add, but I also want to add links maybe to the other Office 365 um, group assets like Teams, maybe I want to quickly add, uh, you know, link to Teams or Planner uh, or a calendar and Outlook. Uh, how do I do that uh, without uh, spending a lot of time? Let me show you. All you need to do is just click this edit, um, um, you know, edit menu um, button and then hit plus. Uh, now, by default, of course, you have to paste the URL. Maybe you're, you're linking to another site, another library, some external URL. Uh, but in our case, we're linking to the other assets that are part of this Microsoft 365 group. So what you can do here is click this uh, little drop down and look at this. It actually offers you to link to all the other assets already. And you know, conversations is actually a distribution list, right? Uh, essentially a link to the mailbox that got created uh, when I created this team. So we already have that. But look, if I want to link to the calendar, in Outlook, here we go. All I need to do is just choose calendar and it automatically embeds the link. Let's do that. I now want to add a link to Planner. Again, automatically create the link. I want to add a link to this Microsoft team I have. Look at this, here's a shortcut for that. So pretty much in a matter of few seconds, a link to all the other uh, assets we have as part of Microsoft 365 uh, group. So if I, you know, I'm working on the site, maybe I'm working with documents and everything, and I now have to go and check out the calendar or something. It's just a matter of clicking uh, the link from the quick launch. And here we go. Here is my calendar uh, for that particular, you know, team. Um, you can, you know, again, if we click on planner or let's go to teams. And, um, uh, Again, I'm on a site. I can, you know, quickly access that particular team pretty much with a click uh, of a button. So it's a nice little way to um, uh, for you to uh, improve, I guess, usability of your site uh, and allow your users to quickly switch between different applications. Uh, and again, it doesn't take much time to set up at all. So hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.